I am back. Bear with me. It's been a week since I have had cards out. So I may be a little rusty today, but we will get through this. Okay. I haven't even had my coffee yet today. I wanted to get this message out for you. I'm so excited. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> uh, when I pulled cards, I actually just had one card and I was going to just do one card today. Um, it ended up being nine cards, two separate decks. I have the bowl over here. It, if you've been here for a while, you know how I work by now. <laughs> I can't just settle for one card. I always want to try and get as much detail as I can. As always, this is a collective reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This reading could feel so specific for you that it feels like a personal or one piece of this message could fit or nothing could fit. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It just means it's not for you if it doesn't fit. Don't force things in place, okay? Okay, are you ready? Sorry, you've been anticipating this. The Three of Wands is the card that showed up for you today. Now, when I saw this, I heard your ship's coming in. Your ship is coming in. But what's interesting about this card here is typically on traditional Three of Wands cards, I'll have to, maybe I'll pull the one out of here too, my other deck, sorry. <laughs> my mind's all over the place, yours might be too. Uh, typically, the person is sitting or standing with three wands facing the ocean, watching the ships come in, meaning that they're like exploring different options and whatnot. But this woman here has turned around and she's walking away from the ocean. And as you can see, the ship is coming in, but she doesn't see it. So I feel almost like this is a surprise or for some of you, this could be um, the ship is going to come in on something that you are contemplating walking away from because you're not seeing the growth or the change that you want. OK, um, so she's walking away, not paying attention and the ship is coming in and it says planning for the long term abundance from past choices Pride in the success of your labors and be patient as you decide what's next. You have planted a seed in the past. And I know this because at the bottom of the deck, we had the emperor followed by the magician. The emperor is somebody who steps into a leadership role, takes action on things. The magician creates the life that they want, knowing they have all of the tools necessary to do so. By taking action and planting a seed, the ships are going to start coming in. It's almost as if you're going to have a breakthrough moment. You have a breakthrough coming. You have a breakthrough here. You're going to start seeing change in a positive direction on something that some of you wanted to just give up on because you're like, it's not growing the way I wanted. It's not working the way I wanted. I'm going to use content creation as an example. I'm not getting the views I want. I don't know. The ship is coming in. You're going to start seeing a positive change. So be on the lookout for that positive change. You're going to suddenly get more views on a video. You're suddenly going to get a few subscribers. How do I know that? Because the nine and the 10 of cups followed. <laughs> so your angels want to remind you that wishes do come true. Okay, this is a magical time of life, good fortune, and have faith that this can and will work out for you, followed by the Ten of Cups. Okay, a happy marriage, happily ever after is what I'm drawn to here. Emotional contentment and a loving relationship with children, raising children, and people that you can trust. Some of you, the ship coming in is somebody or a group of people that will help, that will change your life in a sense, okay? But like I said here, we had the emperor and the magician. And behind that, we had the five of coins followed by the four of cups. These are my like negative mindset cards here, which is where I'm getting with this, right? Negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges, followed by failing to recognize an opportunity, missing the point, the distractions of daily life or boredom. You're lost in your own world. You feel that this is impossible. You know, I planted this seed. It's not working. It's not going the way that I want to. Maybe I should just give up. You know, 
blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is never going to happen. No, it can and it will. You are about to see change. And I know that because this was followed by the wheel. You are about to have a breakthrough moment in whatever this is. You're going to see positive change. And then when I asked to clarify the nine of cups, it clarified again with the nine of cups in a different deck. Okay, wishes, dreams, happiness. And then when I asked to clarify the Ten of Cups, it was the Seven of Pentacles. Investment, assessment, patience. The seed that you planted, the action that you took, that you're kind of like, do I even want to do this anymore? Is it really worth it? I don't know. I'm not growing the way that I want. I'm not seeing the success that I want. Your angels are saying the investment the seed that was planted will grow into this beautiful money tree and bring you emotional fulfillment and happiness. But one, have a little bit of patience or two, your patience is going to pay off. The ships are coming in for you, okay? At the bottom of this deck, we had the nine of wands. It says protection, preparedness, and resilience. But look at her. She's like, I got this. I'm good. And then look, the magician sorry my eyes itchy we had the magician at the bottom of the deck on both decks okay manifestation empowerment and again preparedness you are ready for this you are ready for your ships to come in you are ready to see the fruits of your labor start to grow you are ready um if you're scared to take this action your angels are saying go ahead like you will see positive changes from this and remain open to the positive changes, okay? But yeah, overall, you're about to have this breakthrough moment. Success is just around the corner for you in this. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, I can't make this up. This one just flew out. Look, what did I just say? What just came out of my mouth? Success is just around the corner. The wheel is turning in your favor. The ships are coming in. <laughs> the other two that flew out were a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. You are being prepared. You are being, you know, we have to, there's a quote. And of course, now that I want to say the quote, I can't remember it right off the top of my head, but it's from the Disney movie Motocross. I love that movie, by the way. And the quote is something, if you know it, put it in the comments and because I want to give the direct quote, but she says something about the, like along the lines of winning, like in motocross, she works really hard to win. Um, winning wouldn't be so great if it weren't for losing or something like that. And basically it's saying like the hardships and the pain, if you will, of losing is what makes winning so great, right? So it's the, the rocky sea that we experience is what makes the success when we finally get there so worth it. So you are literally being prepared. And we saw that on two or three different cards. And I'm going to stop with this one right here for you. Change the world by being yourself, okay? Don't compare yourself to others. Don't worry about what other people are doing. You are unique and you're going to change the world and change other people's lives by being unique to you and being yourself, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope that this message helped you and I will see you in the next one.